Hello. I was asked a question today at work, and it didn't really strike me as odd. You know, it was just in conversation. But now I'm home, and I'm thinking about it after the fact, and I want to share it with you very quickly. You see, they're, uh, they're making some changes in the company, and they want everybody to be to a certain standard and be prepared to work, you know, every position in the building. Some are a little more high-sensitive than others, so they want everybody to be able to work them, so they're training people, which is cool. There had been a, a contract dispute, and we weren't sure if we were even going to like we, we knew we were going to have our jobs, but it was like, will it be with this company? Will it be with another company kind of deal? But now that they know, they're moving forward and they're doing extra stuff with these people. And we were, uh, I'm training in a new spot, uh, LA3. And I'm sitting here with Officer Lucy, who's cool. She, she's good people. And we were just talking about the shift and what would have happened if they hadn't renewed the contract. She says, well, are you happy here? And I was like, yeah. Like, I still don't know everybody by name. And that can sound mean if you want. But there are a lot of people there whose their native language is not English. And they're kind of hard to talk to. Like, say what you want sometimes. It could be, the accent could be a little thick, you know? It's not from lack of trying. But I don't know them all, but I know mostly everybody. And I don't necessarily feel well respected. Like, oh, look at the great job I'm doing, because it's just really a lot of sitting. But I'm still pretty fucking good at it, you know? So she says, are you happy here? I said, yeah, I'm pretty fucking good like I dig my schedule I know I'm cool for at least the next six months now like not that that was a concern but it's I got a cool little shift I come home I kick it with my wife like all, oh yeah she does all kind of terrible things you should guys should see the motion she is she's a terrible person <laughs> so <clears throat> Yes, I am happy at work, and I will go so far as to say I am I am very, very happy in my life right now. Like, mostly all the bills are taken care of, mostly, mostly, uh, we were able to get some odds and ends, some stuff that we actually wanted to get. Everything's cool. Nobody's fucking coming after us. Circuit's on his way. My tummy is fucking full. Like, good fucking job, us. We are doing it. Something else is in the future. You know, it's like, what? Something else is in the Something else is coming. We, I'm not going to go there yet. Like, what? Yeah, stay tuned to all one of our subscribers. You can find out what the thing is we're talking about. What, what are you talking about? He said my tummy's full. Yeah, my tummy is full. And like then I, I said, something else is empty. Something else is empty. What? I was making a joke. Wow, I don't know. I, and that's you know what? Don't 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 pay me no attention. I was trying to be sexy. You know what? It was. It probably was sexy, but I'm stupid. Yes. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'm happy. Life is good. I say this all the time and my wife hates it, but if my life ended today, I'd be good. Oh, shit. Where is it? Where? No, seriously. Where is it? Let me... How did I almost not? Oh. Seriously. Oh, you I lost, lost it. Oh I lost God. it. It's gone. It's gone. Person. Wow. It's no. gone. It goes where it's needed, My Asia. No, don't uh, excuses. Oh no! How dare you? Call you had it last. You I had, had it. No, yes. you had it in your hand. Opal had it, and you took it from Opal. I, oh my God! Don't you blame did. me. You did. No, you're hurting my feelings right now. Do not blame me. It's it's in the, true, it's right? in the room, Asia. See, that's on the no, your no, side no. of the bed. Because you were doing things to me, and it went off the bed. So I okay, 
you know what? I'm actually willing to accept okay. that. But if that's the case, you can't be mad either. Yeah, because... but you were blaming me. But you were blaming me. No, I didn't. Yes. I just didn't want you to blame me. Huh. Sorry about that. Hi. <laughs> that's our arguing, by the way. That's how we argue. I, right. <laughs> I'm going to spin you a yarn. I am a Power Rangers fan. I'll spare you my details, but mm-hmm. suffice it to say, I know quite a bit about Power Rangers. Been writing this series for a while now. My wife is into it. We have friends and family who are into it. Not nearly as much as I would like, Micah. Not nearly as much as I would like, Kari. But wow, bitter much. Not bitter. No, just, that's just, really I just wanted to be able to turn my head dramatically. But you also say that every time, every chance you get. I'm sure I do. Are you really hurt by that? No. I'm you just talking it? shit. I'm not. I'm just throwing fucking shade. Uh-huh. So you're just a but I am. I'm, I'm fairly happy with the series. Like, <sighs> oh, there's always room for fucking improvement. But I'm loving my series. In the series, I am your Phantom Ranger. Powered by the Red Energy. And we just did this whole fucking story arc. With red inner gems, and we had to get all the inner gems. Then it was a dark one, and then a light one, and like, oh, it was a whole kerfuffle. I've gotten used to saying kerfuffle, by the way. That kerfuffle is a word. Yes, it is. I guarantee it. I guarantee. Look up kerfuffle. Look it up. I don't care enough. Yeah, because you know. No. Oh, if you you're. I said I don't believe it's real. You said it is. Look it up for myself. You show you have the truth is of truth regardless of its, tr- yes, its source. Yes, you have the burden of showing me evidence. Because yeah, but I am I am offering you evidence. <laughs> here is where you here is where you find the Please evidence. You show me. I'm I'm I, I am telling an emotional story right from. now about the gift you got and me. That's fine. And you want to argue also, with me about kerfluffles? No, you you're the one that paused to te- to say that it's a real thing. See, it's a real stop thing. You, you stopped yourself. It's a real thing. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you my story and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go prove to her that kerfluffle is a word. I'm just saying you stop like it's anyway, a real thing. Even though no one said anything. Uh-huh, the, the Phantom Ranger armor is powered by the red energy in the series. It's kind of a big deal. It's been a focal point. I'm heavily into my series, and my wife is heavily. It's like we have a good time with it. For Christmas, it took her a while. It took a minute, but it's fine. My wife got me the red energy. Like, holy shit. Yes, she did. I'm I'm a stoic person by definition. I don't smile a lot, but this is probably one of the most thoughtful gifts because it's the kind of thing that only somebody who was following my innermost thoughts would have thought to say, this is a good idea. It's a stone. Like, it's nothing. Really, look, it's like, I'm, I'm sure it's not really a crystal. I'm sure it's like plastic. Oh, you don't know what I had to sell to get that thing. Wow. Wow, my wife is dirty, so it may be an actual gem. <laughs> but it's like, only my wife would have thought of this. I guarantee you, in the history of ever, there's no black wife from Detroit <laughs> married to a man twice her age who thought to herself, I'm going to buy this motherfucker a pretend gem from a Power Rangers fan fiction he writes. Nobody. Nobody. But my wife. Goddamn. That's. Holy shit. Wow.